Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Lee. I'm your instructor for Math 171 uh, Asynchronous. So um, the course doesn't have any meeting times um, and the course you sit down and, and work through the course materials on your own. But I am your instructor and I'm here to be a support. Um, I'm sitting right now where my uh, office is currently located at the Transportation Center. Um, but if you do need to meet with me, we can meet here in person or I can um, come to main campus to meet you uh, or we can meet over Zoom, um, which is what most students opt to do. Um, or I'm happy to email with you. Uh, I'm here to be a support um, and want to see you be successful in the course. So this video is going to be focused on navigating through Blackboard. Um, just a little bit of overview of Blackboard here. Uh, I like to put the put a star on the courses that I'm actively in um, so I can find them easier. Uh, this course is using Ultra. Uh, the college, so oh, Blackboard, uh, oh, oh, what is it called? Blackboard Ultra Learn is the new um, Blackboard platform and uh, the college is rolling it out campus-wide. Uh, I was a early adopter of it so I used this version of Blackboard uh, in the spring session and over the summer. Um, and by and large, students have found it uh, pretty easy to navigate. Um, but the college is you know, a little bit of a learning curve if, if you're a returning student. Uh, some stuff is placed in different places. So um, I, uh, I'm going to try to keep this video to 10 minutes, but if I go, if I get it in 15, I'll still feel like that's a win. Uh, I'm going to view this as a student for a minute. And all of your classes should be set up similar to this. Um, but for this one particularly, when you first access the course, you'll notice that most of the content is uh, unavailable or has a little lock by it. And that's because you need to complete the course entry assignment which is just one question, it should take you like 10 seconds. You need to complete the course entry assignment in order to have access to the course. So I just completed the course entry assignment and now I can open all the modules. Um, this additional walk around here, there's a calendar right here and the calendar is one of the places where you can see all of the due dates in this course. This, this course does have regular due dates. I really uh, stress trying to help you eat the elephant. Um, so, you know, it's a lot easier to eat the elephant if you take small bites than trying to eat all the elephant at once. So, we have assignments due most Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays. Uh, I did not have anything due on the first day, just so you can complete the course entry assignment and feel comfortable with navigation. And um, we also don't have anything due on Labor Day. But otherwise, there's an assignment due every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, and there's a test that's due every other Saturday. Um, with the exception being the very last week, the test there's a test due on Thursday so I can record grades on Friday. Um, there's announcements here. I will post this video we're recording right now here. We're not going to use any of the discussion boards. The grade book is helpful to keep up with your grade. Uh, messages wasn't working quite right uh, in the spring. Maybe they fixed that over the summer. I haven't played with it. I really uh, ask that you email me using your student email account instead of sending a message through Blackboard because the feature doesn't always work. Um, some other things I want to highlight here, the Start Here tab uh, does have my contact information, does have the syllabus, which I'm about to show you, it's an important document. Course schedule, I really encourage you to print this course schedule. This course schedule is also included in the syllabus, but this helps you keep up with due dates. Um, there's an Ultra Navigate video, you can probably skip that. Uh, textbook, there is no textbook to purchase for this course. All of the course content is delivered for free on uh, Blackboard. So there is a textbook. So uh, 
in every section, you'll find a section that tells you, hey, this is the tech for that section. So this is section 1.4 right here. But the textbook is provided for you for free on Blackboard. Uh, you can print it if you want it. Uh, you can buy digital copies on Amazon. Uh, they're like 20 bucks. I can help you do that if you need help with that. Uh, but most students just access the text virtually. Similarly, all the homework assignments, I'm just going to launch a random homework assignment. All of the labs, all of the tests are delivered on a platform called MyOpenMath. It is completely free to use and it is single log on with Blackboard. So uh, Blackboard just connected to MyOpenMath and let me access this assignment. Okay, uh, let's talk about the syllabus a little bit. Uh, there is a new syllabus template for the fall. So this is pretty similar but formatted a little different than what you might be used to. Um, important information in the header. Uh, my name is Mr. Lee. I go by my middle name, so you can say Mr. Lee. That's fine. My pronouns are he, him, his. Uh, email is absolutely the easiest way to get in touch with me. Oftentimes, I can get back to students within 10 minutes. Um, I'm not 100% sure my office phone works, but I do have an office phone number, but I'm not in the office all the time. So uh, email is absolutely the easiest way to get in touch with me. Um, 11 o'clock, uh, Monday through Thursday, is my student hour my supervisor, course description, student learning outcomes. Um, a calculator, I encourage you to buy a TI-83 calculator. You can find these for $20 on eBay. I can help you shop if you need that. Um, I encourage students to own one and to feel comfortable with one. Are there online calculators that you can find that will do most of the stuff that you're going to do in this course? Yes. What I don't want to have happen to you is you are in this course because you are going to need a lot more math courses in your life. This is not going to be the last math class that you take, sadly, or happily. Um, I enjoy taking math classes. Anyways, uh, I don't want you in a situation where you're in a Calc 1 class or a Calc 3 class or something a year from now, and all of the other students in the class have been using the calculator for over a year and are super comfortable with it and you are at a disadvantage. So they're very common in higher ed. Uh, they're required in a lot of classes. So I really encourage you, go ahead and buy a calculator in the TI-83 family and be comfortable using it because it's gonna make your life easier down the road. Um, the 60% date is uh, posted here. That's the last day you can withdraw. I really try to work, I try to reach out to students um, if, uh, if, if you're not participating in the course, it's in your best interest to withdraw the vast majority of the time. So um, students that aren't participating, they're not on track, I try to reach out to them when the 60% date uh, is close. But keep that in mind, not just for this course, but all of your A session courses, universal policies and procedures, 10 point grading scale. All right, what students tend to be really concerned about how is your grade going to be determined in this class? Um, there are four exams, and I can click back over here. You see them listed. For every two weeks, each exam is worth 7.5% uh, of your overall grade. None of the exams are cumulative. There is no cumulative final exam. There is no cumulative midterm. Test three covers the content since test two. Test four covers the content since, since test one. Blah, blah, blah. Test four covers the content since test three. So um, each test is 15 questions long. Uh, there is no partial credit. Uh, all of the test questions come directly from the homework assignments. So there should be no surprises on the exams. I encourage students, I think the two best things you can do to prepare for a test is one, take good notes that you can read and follow when you're working on the homework assignments. That way you have an example of every question that could possibly be on the exam when you take the exam. Um, and two, I think it's fun to take, make uh, practice exams, uh, go through and randomly pull homework questions. I think that's a nice way to study too. 
the tests are only 30 percent it's purposely structured so that you can fail every test and still comfortably pass the class so if you're taking uh, taking care of business with your homework and with your lab assignments you're going to have a really good grade in this course so this is not stressful high state testing all right homework assignments uh, I wrote here that you have unlimited attempts in truth you get 100 attempts um, I don't know we'll pick on one here we'll go back to section 1.4 and look at that homework assignment so this homework assignment is 15 questions long you can jump around questions And I'm kind of looking for something easy here. Yeah, okay, this will work. Um, let's say that we think the answer is Mr. Lee. Am I the answer? Nope, I am not the answer to this question. Okay. Uh, just We can click here and get a similar question, and we can try the question again. There's no penalty for trying the question. Uh, there's also a video that helps out here. You're welcome to watch. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay, I'll make this a little bigger on the screen. I'll go even a little bigger than that. Okay. Uh, maybe we think Jesus is the answer. Nope, Jesus is not the answer. Uh, maybe we think that math is the answer. No, so we're getting this question wrong. Um, you'll notice over here that this number is ticking down as we click the Get Similar Question button. You get 100 attempts on each question. That is the most attempts that I can assign in my open math. I have never had a student in good faith burn through 100 attempts. If you do burn through 100 attempts, let me know and we'll work something out. I'll figure out some way to get you more attempts on the question. Uh, when you finally get a question correct, you receive full credit for it. There is no penalty for trying and getting a question wrong. So all of you with enough support and enough time can have really strong homework grades. Uh, you can have 100% across the board. Um, if you have 100% across the board on your homework grade, you're going to do well in the course. Uh, labs. The way I do labs is probably different than what you are used to. Um, I have a separate video on how labs work and what my expectations are. You must attach your work to receive credit for labs. And your work needs to be good. My expectation for lab work is really high. I view it as a gift to your future self. I want to see good, clean lab work that I know you can pick up in five years and easily be able to review the topic. Um, so my expectations are high. I have a separate video about it. Because of that, if you email me, I am happy to check your lab work. All right, I, I, you can email me multiple times. I'm happy to check it multiple times. Students that take advantage of lab checks do much better on the labs. So if you're taking advantage of multiple attempts, you're reaching out to me or to a tutor when you get stuck on a question and you take advantage of lab checks and you reach out to me or a tutor when you're stuck on a lab question, then these two categories can be really really strong and that's going to put you in a really good place to have a really good grade in this course so please take advantage of multiple attempts please budget the time you need to complete a homework assignment don't wait till 11:30 when the homework assignment turns off at 11:55 to, to start it that's just you're not giving yourself enough time to be successful um okay there's no extra credit Late work, there is no blanket late work policy for this course, um, but I do have the discretion to give extensions or to work with students based off of their circumstances. So if you have a crisis that comes up, um, please reach out to me. The most important thing you can do is to keep me in the loop when it comes to this class and when it comes to life happening. Keep me in the loop and I can work with you. I want to see you be successful. I want to see you stay on track. If, uh, if you get sick or your kid gets sick or um, yeah, a crazy situation at work or uh, 
you know, housing issue comes up, um, keep me in the loop and I can work with you. All right, what else do I need to say here? Uh, the attendance policy is college-wide. Um, if you miss 14 consecutive days, I have to withdraw you. Um, course responsibilities, you know, I, I need to respond to your email within 24 hours on a work day, but I'll, I'll normally respond a lot quicker than that. Um, there's also information now on tutoring. Um, I think the STEM lab is a great thing. If you need any help with tutoring, let me know and I can help you navigate through it. Uh, and I'll, I'll be sending out a, a separate announcement the hours. So the STEM lab is the walk-in lab. Um, there's almost always a tutor there that would help you with this course. So it's a great resource. There's no appointment necessary. Um, anyways, if you need any help with tutoring, uh, the one-on-one -on -one tutoring uh, can be over Zoom. So you can do appointments over Zoom um, and you can do uh, walk-ins on campus. And I'll send out more information on tutoring. Okay, if you print one page, Please print this very last page um, and I'm just skimming it to see if there's anything I want to highlight for you. But yeah, we have homework assignments most Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. We have a lab due every Thursday. There's a test due uh, every two weeks. Uh, all assignments turn off at 11.55 p.m. I encourage you to get started on them before then. That's when they turn off. Uh, tests can be completed early. Um, you know, particularly during the summer, I have students that complete this class in like two or three weeks. Um, so you're welcome to work ahead. You're welcome to go ahead and knock stuff out. Everything right now is, is open and available for you to use. Um, so I think that's everything I wanted to highlight. If there's anything uh, I am forgetting, please feel free to reach out. I'm at 17 minutes, um, a bit over my goal, but still not bad. So I am here to be a resource for you. I want to see you be successful in the course. Please reach out if you have any questions.